listen to anybody who said it's not possible. Cheapest, which I found. Hi everybody, it's Olga today with you and in this video I want to talk about real estate investment, everything what will be related to that and all problems which you will face as a foreigner in real estate investment. First of all, for sure, as a foreigner, you can buy apartment in Ukraine. Don't listen to anybody who said it's not possible. 100% legal is to own apartment in Ukraine as a foreigner. Now, uh, how you can buy it? Uh, you have actually two options. You pay 100% and you buy apartment, or you pay installment and you buy apartment in installment, uh, which is most likely is not ready yet. So developer is keep building it and you can invest money in the early stage and pay installment. As an installment, for installment exactly, you need to have a residence in Ukraine. Um, so far, most of developers, which I was asking, nobody allow foreigners to buy apartment uh, in installment if he is not resident in Ukraine. Now about prices. Um, the most beneficial uh, way to buy apartment in Ukraine is if you are investing in apartment which is not built yet, so developer will finish it in one or two years and you are paying now. You are paying now 100% or you are buying in installment. It's, uh, uh, most of installments they don't have interest rate, so you are not overpaying, but it has some restrictions, so you need to finish payment in one year or three months or two years or seven years. It depends from the developer, from the complex, from your advance payment, from so many factors, but there is such options and there is no uh, general rule. It's just from up to developer and uh, in even the same developer in different complexes, they have a different uh, way how they propose installment, so you just need to go and talk with them about a specific case and specific apartment and uh, depends how much amount you have but in general um, this will be the most beneficial anyway uh, so in these things apartment cost about $800 per square meter. We always buy everything per square meter. I understand that some people want to understand general price, but I will tell you, uh, the general price, if you will go for a very small smart apartment, which is about 27 square meters, you can pay, as I see on the internet, what they propose. The cheapest, which I found, was $25,000. And it was even ready apartment already. But in general, you need to consider $30,000 for a very, very small studio apartment. And it started from $800 for the apartment, which will be ready in two years. So there is nothing yet. And also you need to understand that most likely it will be with bare walls, but also not always. Sometimes they propose you full interior. Again, it depends from the complex and developer. But this apartment with full interior will not cost you $800 per square meter. I'm talking you, I'm telling you the minimum, minimum amount which is possible to pay. I don't think anything uh, in Kyiv possible to go if you go under $800 per square meter. But in general, uh, if you talk about normal apartment, uh, normal uh, location, a good building with uh, good facilities, such apartment will cost you about $1,000 per square meter. So if you are going for a studio which is 30 square meters, it's $30,000. If you want one bedroom apartment which is about 45, 000, uh, 45 square meters, it will be $45,000, $50,000. So one bedroom apartment in good complex, it will be $50,000.
What means good complex? I'm not talking about something luxury in downtown, no way. I'm talking about some uh, place which is in some residential neighborhood, but it has a uh, good organized territory. It has some kind of security on the gate or in building inside if it's just one uh, building and not complex of many buildings. Here where these people, but anywhere, almost in every building you see, this is cafe, this is gym, this is a beer, shop this is shop for children and a lot of other shop banks and everything else so you will not leave uh, here and need to do some stuff in the city center no you have all of everything here everything what you need so this is very comfortable region uh, such apartment will cost you about one thousand dollar per square meter regardless of the size but if you uh, many people no no i want to go for the cheapest once you're going for the cheapest uh, for example like i told you 800 maybe you can find with 700 you need to understand most likely it will be industrial area so it was big industrial plant and there is nothing around it can be really uh, just railway and some other industrial things some um, bridges uh, many productions of also some chemical things then they just go they buy part of the land of this uh, uh, plant they destroy it and they build a house okay now let's review a few apartments which i found for sale right now on U the most popular ukrainian website uh, which called dom.ria so that's apartment the, the first apartment which i found and this is they make 360 degrees this is as i understand entrance here as i understand bathroom and the price is forty seven thousand dollars, and they claim it's uh, 24 square meters so as you see this living room a kitchen dedicated kitchen and the entrance and they have a um, bathroom also another apartment is twenty three thousand dollars that's in the building which is not yet ready but they said it will be ready on march so very soon apartment on the second floor it cost twenty three thousand dollars and it has twenty uh, six i guess square meters as they said and that's the whole plan and here is how it looks building as i understand this is how we look apartment inside that's what you can buy with twenty three thousand dollars and another apartment it's 24 square meters it cost forty seven thousand dollars it has nice interior yes it has nice bathroom it has um, let me go like this it has this is the entrance and then you have only one room which is kitchen and the bedroom uh, one in two or two two in one sorry yeah that's the option which you can have is forty seven thousand uh, dollars but that's in good location it's in a good complex uh, it's somehow like 15 minutes walk to metro and it's in the complex called, called park land so you can read about that that's the things which you can all what I was talking about here, it's about Kiev. If you want to go to any regional center, one room apartment, even not studio, not smart, normal 45, 50 square meter apartment will cost you about $15,000 and two bedroom apartment, or let's say one bedroom apartment, but which is about 50, 60 square meters, it will cost you about $25,000. But if you're talking about Kiev, unfortunately here you need to pay at least $50,000 for such apartment and the last one is documents which you need to have if you want to buy a just apartment you need to have tax id always everything what you want to do in ukraine you need to have tax id it's easy to obtain it you can obtain it by yourself or you can use any companies or our company can help or any any other lawyer they can make a tax id so it's not a problem it's easy thing you just uh, need to wait five days for that and uh, then you just need to uh, make an agreement and that's all uh, if you are buying in installment you need to uh, usually they don't ask for anything but for example if you are married so they will ask permission of your wife she need to write permission if she's allowing you to buy apartment at least if she's Ukrainian wife I'm not sure if you are both foreigners if they need 
permission from your wife or not, I'm not sure. The most interesting, if you are married to Ukrainian wife and you want to buy apartment in installment on her name, uh, she will need anyway your tax ID in Ukraine and you need to give her permission to buy apartment because she's your wife. So if you are married exactly to Ukrainian wife and you want to buy apartment, make sure that you have tax ID as well, even if you're not buying it on your name. Also many people confused if you are married on whose name to buy, what if I will buy on my Ukrainian girl apartment wife, I mean, and later we will divorce, how we will do the things. But in Ukraine we have ruled that you have 50% after divorce you can claim it's not mandatory but you can claim and you deserve 50 percent so any apartment or car whatever you buy together in marriage it's not important on whose name you uh, register this apartment because if you was buying it on marriage later on uh, when you will divorce first you can claim your 50 percent uh, very fine and second that if your wife will decide to sell it this apartment for example she will not be able to sell it without your approval even if you will be on that moment already divorced because the notary will see that no you was buying this apartment in marriage um, so your husband must give approval for you to do anything with this property so you some kind of pretty safe if you don't want to register on, on yourself but on your wife and you're not sure what to will be after you will divorce a ukrainian law here 100 percent is 50 for you, 50 for her. This is what we have. Uh, also, some people have problem with money transfer because for sure, if you are buying apartment in 100% uh, amount, apartment will cost you 30, 40 thousand dollars at least. Uh, so the question is, uh, from where you will take forty thousand dollars so if you will be withdrawing it with a from atm it will be something crazy and you cannot bring forty thousand by cash to ukraine you can bring to ukraine up to ten thousand euro which is a little bit more than ten thousand dollars in cash with no declaration if you're bringing more you need to declare i guess you can declare and there is nothing wrong especially if you have papers from your bank or anywhere that you take this money from your account that's not a money laundering and you just declare this money and you can bring them to ukraine in cash if you don't want to bring this amount in cash you need to open account in ukraine transfer it from your account to ukrainian to your ukrainian bank account and then from your ukrainian bank account you will uh, transfer this money to the bank of developer or to the bank of the seller if you're buying brand new apartment from developer you always pay only in bank you don't pay anything in cash if you are buying it from the person who is owning you pay him usually in cash and most likely it will be in us dollars people don't uh, like to sell apartment in grievance they can fix your price in grievance but they will say bring me dollars this is always not just because you're foreigner even between ukrainians we always uh, keep um, uh, buying apartment and cars in dollars so that's very common things and you don't need to argue with that so that was i guess the most uh, common questions i try to show you some apartments which i see and options which you have so if you have more questions you're always welcome to ask me we will try to help with real estate also as well and I will if this topic is interesting for you uh, write me more I will keep you updated I can show you many apartments as well so you can have an idea how it looks and what you can do okay guys I love you all hope this video was helpful for you bye bye